All right, here's all you're going to need to change the oil on your V-Star 1100 with the remote oil filter kit. You just need an oil pan, a funnel, an oil filter, um, oil filter wrench, possibly, definitely a 17 millimeter wrench, a rag, and optionally a screw, flathead screwdriver for a protector for your oil filter, which I'll show you what I did. Okay, our first step in changing the oil on our V-Star 1100 is you need to know where the factory oil filter goes. And unfortunately, it's tucked way in here behind your front exhaust pipe. And to get to that, you have to unscrew your front exhaust here and your front exhaust over here. Then you need to go underneath your bike and you'll see you have two peg, foot peg bolts are there you got to remove just to get all this junk loosened so you can get behind there. I'm telling you, invest in a remote oil filter kit. There's two of them. And because um, if you don't, you're going to have a, an oil filter that looks something like this and it's going to fit inside your bike like so. And it's, every time you change your oil, you're going to have to get to that. I recommend your Baron um, Custom Accessories Oil Filter Relocation Kit. And there's also one made by Jardine. It's an oil filter relocation kit for your Yamaha V-Star 1100. And just go on Amazon and find those. They're between two and three hundred dollars. And it's totally worth it. Because I'm going to show you how fast it is when you have that remote oil filter kit on there. I already have one right here. So you can see there's my, my cap that replaced my old factory one. It runs it around to here. And on the other side here, I have my oil filter. And it's really easy this way. All right, on the left-hand side of the bike, the very first major bolt you see on your oil pan is going to be your drain bolt. So just take a 17 millimeter wrench, put it on there and give it a nice knock and out your oil will flow. Be sure to warm your bike up before you do this so that your oil isn't all sludgy and cold. Next, you're going to want to remove your oil filter on your installed remote oil filter kit. But I want to first show you this little item. Uh, you can make one of these. This is just like corrugated aluminum or something along with a big hose clamp on it. And the good thing about this is when you do put your oil filter relocation kit on, it mounts your oil filter directly behind your front wheel where you may kick up rocks or nails in there. The last thing you want to do is puncture it. So this is a great alternative. It gives your bike a little more chrome or silver look. And it also uh, gets rid of heat better because of these fins. And it protects your oil filter from all the debris that will hit it. So I recommend making or getting one of these. Now we simply want to take off our old oil filter. Um, just remember, if you can't do it with your hand, you can, you can always do it with a pair of oil filter wrenches or that wrench. And then voila, you take your oil filter out. So while our bike is still drip draining, we're going to use this. This is the uh, model number in case you want to get one for your remote oil filter kit. But basically, this is the same oil filter that all Yamaha bikes use, the bigger bikes like the Roadstar, the Raider, and all those. So go ahead and just, if you don't know the exact oil filter, just say you need something for a 2012 Raider, and it'll be the same oil filter that goes on this Yamaha V-Star 1100 remote oil filter kit. Now what we do is we take this plastic film off the filter, and I fill it up about halfway or so with some new oil. I dip my finger in and we just want to put some oil around that rubber seal before we screw it on. And likewise up here where the seal is going to meet our remote oil filter kit, just make sure you get a rag and wipe off any grime that might be on the bottom of that as well. Now we're ready to screw on our new oil filter and what I like to do 
is screw it hand tight. And really, I don't use a wrench or anything. I just screw it hand tight. My hands are already a little greasy. But I screw it until it's just like, I can't get it on anymore with my own strength. And I've been doing it that way for 15 years and I've never had a leak yet. Now I'm just putting my protector back on. Now we just need to take a rag and make sure our oil bolt hole is clear. And with this, um, you're supposed to put a crush washer on here, but I haven't and I've never had a leak yet. I think there is a crush washer on there, but it's been on there like since day one and it's just fused with the bolt itself and there's probably a specific torque for this but once again I do this so often I don't mess with the torque wrench either and all I do is take my 17 millimeter and put it on and it tightens up rather quickly but I just after it's tight I just give it a few hand bumps and call it good. Now simply remove your oil cap if you haven't already and just start filling it with oil. I use 1040. Now on your lower left hand side of the bike by your foot peg you will see where you're gonna keep an eye on your window and there's two fill lines on that window a lower fill line and an upper fill line. You want your oil to be somewhere in between. So as you can see as I fill it, that line is going up. I like to fill it a little bit above the top line and then start the bike because once the oil cycles through the bike, your oil level is going to go down a bit. Now put your oil cap back on, start your bike and let it circulate for a minute. So I went ahead and started the bike. And now I let it set for about 60 seconds. And my oil level is looking pretty darn good there. There's my top line where it should be. And my oil is like a sixteenth of an inch below it. I'm calling that good. Then just put your oil cap back on. And congratulations. You just changed the oil in five minutes on a Yamaha V-Star. 1100.